Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Today is May 26th and I just got home yesterday from Jamaica. By the time this vlog comes out, it should be at the end of all the travel vlogs, but I wanted to sort of try to keep the momentum of daily vlogging going, at least just a little bit. Um, so I've been home since last night. We had a great flight. It was a little long at the airport, but it was all good. We had that lounge, which was awesome. So it wasn't too bad. But now I'm back home. I've had the kids all morning. Deja back to her externship. So everything is slowly getting back to normal. Right now I'm actually on my way to pick up the dog. So, you know, that's a whole hour. It's like an hour and 10 minutes away in Harrington, Delaware. Excuse me. So, I'm on my way to go pick her up. I left the kids with Nana until Deja gets done. Now I'm back to this traffic on this highway, which I did not miss at all. But, yeah, I'm gonna, I think, like up until we get to the end of the vlogs, I, um, I'm gonna try to just do some clips of whatever's going on daily, just so I can keep my momentum going. <laughs> Since everybody seemed to enjoy the everyday vlogs. So yeah, I'm on my way to get her. I have to, um, I think that's it. I'm trying to debate if I was gonna start back up on DoorDash today or tomorrow. I'll probably end up doing it tomorrow. It's really hot outside today. It's like 90 degrees. And um, by the time I drive to get this dog and then drive an hour back, I'll have to see how I feel. I just wanted to come in and say, hey, I have started the vlogs. Actually, the first segment of the travel vlogs just was uploaded at one o'clock. So hopefully you've seen it by now. I always get so nervous right before I do like like the daily vlogs is whatever. It's like, okay, we y'all already know what we're doing. But I always feel so much pressure with the travel vlogs right before I start them. Because I'm like, I hope everybody likes it. I never know if I get enough footage, that I get the right footage. Like, should I be taping this? Should I be taping that? You know, and I try to sort of get a good balance of everything. But at the same time, don't have the camera zoomed to my hand the whole time because I want to enjoy myself as well. So I always worry that I don't get enough or if I get too much, if something like that. So if you have seen the Jamaica vlogs, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Too much, too little. Should I do a bit more? You know, I don't really do like the big, I'm doing a whole tour of every little thing of the plate. That's not me. You see stuff as I walk around. <laughs> but then I feel like I didn't do it justice because I should probably do a tour so everybody can see exactly what the place looked like. I don't know. Y'all know how I am. I just worry. Anyway, let me focus on this road. Go get this dog and I'll be back. I made it to pick up this dog. So Kisha's dog is here too, Mike. And so Kisha, if you're watching this, I, he said he's going to bring Mike out so he can say hi. But he said he's doing really good because Kisha was worried. She like me. She was worried about it. But the guy, Mike, is awesome. ESK Kennels. He... Um, raises pit bulls and he trains them and everything. So he has a, his own business. He does have a YouTube channel. I have to ask him what the channel is. Um, I don't think he posts too much on there, but he's starting out. But you know, if you were into pit bulls, to check them out. He also breeds them and sells them. Like I know he recently flew a dog all the way to Las Vegas for somebody because they wanted a dog. So he's pretty cool. Look, there she go. Yeah, of course, she got come out and pee for 20 years. I got her. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Look, she ready to jump in the car. You been good? Yes? You been behaving yourself? Huh? Hi. Right. You ready to go? Joy, Joy. You ready to go? Me, home, girl. So I, I was know. telling everybody about Mike. Tell him I forget your YouTube. Is it ESK? Yeah, it's Empire State Kennels. ESK. Empire State. Yes. Empire State Kennels. 
breeds so, them, trains them, takes care of them. He travels with them. If y'all need a, <laughs> if you need a puppy, you got puppies now? Not right now, but we're doing a breeding. Oh. In the next like 30 days. Oh, okay. Joy. So every day I give her a kiss from now. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Like, she miss him. Daddy. It's the only person we trust with this crazy dog. I drive an hour every time, front and back. Joy, Joy. Joy's so Let's used to the ride now. Joy. Girl. She, she's comfortable since been a couple years now yeah, that you've been taking it's, care of her it's, it's been about six seven years yeah right since she, i know blue's eight and, yeah she'll be nine in august so i know they I were around like the blue. scene yeah so that's who we have to trust with this one look okay, at go mike doing good mike, mike. Smelling good. Hey. hey boy Hey, boy. Joey just went Mike, to Mike. the bathroom there. Hey, come here. Uh, he don't listen either. He's focused. What's up? Give me a hug. He's doing good. Give me a hug. It's his first time away from home. Right? How you yeah. been doing? Huh? Come here. He's doing good. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Today is the 28th of May, which makes it the anniversary date seven months since Mr. Passed Away. And I'm just doing my monthly lighting of his candle. This is the, um, the Black Sea candle that I got from, um... Bert and Armando, remember? And I light it on the 28th of every month in honor of him. Hey guys, so yeah, it's early. Well, not too early, it's about nine o'clock. I'm about to get dressed and go out and see what DoorDash is doing for the breakfast time. I wanted to come on and get quick little vlog started. I didn't vlog yesterday at all. I had the kids all day and um they were really busy but I want to send a big shout out to Deja. Yesterday she had to take her certification test and she passed. So she is now a certified medical assistant. She still has to finish her externship at the doctor's office but she can now work um I think she said like she can do EKGs like she can work in a cardiologist department somewhere or she can work where she can take blood like a, um what they call it when they take blood for bottom of, uh, I can't even think right now but she can work like in blood banks or anywhere that draws blood and everything um or she could work in a doctor's office which right now she's doing her externship at a pediatrician's office and she really likes it so she could even potentially be hired there once um, she finished her six weeks of training. So, but she was so nervous about taking her test last night, but she passed, which I knew she would because she rocks. So, let's give a big shout out to her. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to come and say that. And I'm surprisingly not sad today. I think now that Mr. is where he wanted to be, I have like a big sense of peace over me. So, Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is Saturday, May 29th. It is a rainy, cloudy day here, but it's a great day because today is the boy's birthday. My son Evan, he turns 20 years old today, so happy birthday to him. Um, it's a little, I don't know, I'm about to go out and door dash for a little bit um, before Deja comes over later with the kids and we'll have some, make some crab legs and have some cake and ice cream for the boy. Uh, nothing major this year. I'll turn up next year when he turned 21. <laughs> I told him, I said, said Jamaica whoo wore me out tapped me out so I stay low-key for your birthday this year but it's all good we'll have a great day anyway um so I want to 
Just say happy birthday to him. Get this day started. I probably won't stay out long now. I'm kinda tired. I've been tired the last couple of days. I just gotta recoup and get myself back together, but slow process. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I am back home. I look so flushed. So DoorDash was pretty good. Um I scrapped the stove so I could get home and take a little rest before we celebrate the boys' birthday. I went to the grocery store, give y'all a quick little haul. Got some toilet paper. I got two of these Arizona iced teas. Just because the kids are coming over. So we had something to drink. Um, then I got iced tea mix. That's for my mom. And some coffee for pop-up. I got two paper towel rolls. This big old tub of butter. Some minced garlic. I'm going to attempt to put some garlic and butter together. <laughs> For the crab boil, I had to get some Obey seasoning. They just bring in a cake, so I got a candle. Two candles since he'll be turning 20. It's for pop up some gravy mix and meatloaf mix. I got a pack of kielbasa to cook. And then I got some breakfast sausage and some bacon. Because we needed some breakfast meats. I got four pounds of crab legs. I hope that's enough. I think they're just going to bring some. We'll see. Hopefully. If not, we'll make it work. They just have to not be so greedy. I got these little strawberry ice cream cups to go with the cake. I figured it would be easier just if I grab a little cup. Got a bag of red potatoes. Four pack of corn that I'll break in half, so then we'll have eight pieces of corn, and then onion and a pepper, and then I got this foil pan to put like the potatoes and the corn in. Oh, I didn't get any broccoli. Dang it. Oh well. All right, so I got a whole concoction going on over here. Well. I boiled some uh, potatoes and corn, and now they're nice and soft. So I am going to um, back up and put them in the oven for a little bit with some garlic and some butter. Um, because in my mind, I'm guessing that's a good thing to do. No, but. Um, So I'm going to put that in there and kind of let it blend up together with some flavor. Um, put a little bit of Obey on it. Not a whole lot. Um, Obey tends to affect the boy a little bit. It makes him sneeze and stuff. So I always like to just put a little for flavor and then everybody can add on if they want later. And then I'm going to... Um, cook the sausage and then once that's like basically done I'm going to stick it in the oven with the other stuff I might boil some eggs just because you know make up for forgetting broccoli and then I'm about to um, put the crab legs in to boil so, it's coming along <laughs> I was on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and I put on there, I put the boys' cash app and told people to cash app them $5. And um, a lot of my friends have been sending him cash apps. He was like, I don't even know what is, who these people are. I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> Although, some people sent more than $5. I was like, I told him bye. He up here making the killing. So I'm going to mix this all together. Get it nice and messy, and I'll be back. All right, my little homemade boil. The boy done already came and grabbed some stuff and went right back upstairs. Like, how you the, the guest of honor and you ain't even down here? 
That's all right, Jay Boogie here. And she brought juice. Mm -hmm. This is this is special juice. Special juice, birthday juice. This birthday juice, mm -hmm. Amsterdam. So you know it's it's. Mm -hmm. Tina, it's like young adult juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Good idea on the juice. We about to just sit here and eat and have some juice. Waiting for the girl to get here with some birthday cake. Or at least maybe he'll come back and sing what they're playing his game. Look at this one. She hate the camera. Up Jamaica, but don't do that now. Yeah, wow. Wow. We wag. He like wag. I'm no, I'm not going to be disrespectful. You see, like you're that. five plus 15. Like, you you see, you'll always see be five. Sister five in the cake. Come on. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, what I did? Y'all knocking my shit over. Because you had the paper in the cake. I can't even get it. Uh, big cake. <laughs> I'm going on record to say this is his last birthday party ever. It is. It's not even a party. Because <laughs> it's okay. sad. Yeah, you yeah. ain't bring, you ain't invite no friends. No friends. This is a party. Dallas ain't a party here. A party is three or more people. Bam. And we here. Even pop up here. I'm taking my cake. Oh, look, because he's going to appreciate it. Pop up here for the party. Come on, like act enthused. Come on, Drew here, but she sleep. Get in there. Jump in there. Get in there. All right. Let's sing happy birthday. Really? So he can make a wish. Okay. Let's and get go. luck for a year. A whole year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 Cause she pronounced my name yeah. wrong. At this, you said it so like. <laughs> we about to take a shot. This is the Jamaican lion I brought back. So we gonna do a shot for the boy. She can't get around. <laughs> This is to the birthday boy. Oh, one time for the birthday. Yeah, get in here. One time for the birthday. So you have to start the shot off. Start the shot off. You drink, we drink, I drink. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. How would you dare? Put hand sanitizer in the cup. This is hand sanitizer in the cup. Why would I'm you so nervous. I'm glad we didn't take a whole shot. Oh, why would you dare? Oh my God. Now oh my don't God. you ever talk about that brown stuff we had. Oh, my tongue is vibrating. <laughs> <Or something. laughs> what do you taste like, baby? Oh, oh, baby, that's bad. What do you taste like? Oh, it tastes like fire. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is June 1st. Happy June. Brand new month, brand new day, time to make brand new <sighs> life choices, I don't know. <laughs> Try to be inspirational here, I'm drawing a blank. Oh man, I don't think I've vlogged since the boy's birthday, um, but I haven't been doing much. Sunday I was just relaxing and I did some DoorDash. I actually started... Um, tried Instacart. Somebody was telling me to try Instacart because you can make um, a little bit more money as far as like their orders are bigger but you actually have to shop for people. So I tried that yesterday and Sunday. It's interesting. Um, I have <laughs> my first day like I went to a grocery store that I'd never been to before. I went to Sprouts and I was just like I don't even know where anything is, but it was it, it was different. It was interesting. I might try, try it every couple days, you know, just to get used to it. But that's all I've been doing. Um, yesterday was a little weird. It was like Memorial Day, so it was the first, you know, unofficial day of summer. That's when barbecues start and everything, but we didn't have a barbecue or anything. 
And that was Mr. Sting. Y'all know he loved barbecuing. And it's just like, it's not the same anymore, you know. But I had a decent day. I was a little sad a few times. I had a pretty rough night. But, um... I made it through to the other side and today, you know, um, it's a brand new day, so the kids are back. Drew's sleeping right now. She's taking a little nap. I'm back to working. I had to do a um, a passport cover order. I'm not so cute. Travel is my therapy. I just love this. So I did a passport cover for someone, and I right now I'm doing two t-shirts for someone. Um, uh-oh. I done woke her up. Hey, mama. Bob, you make it too much noise. You haven't been sleeping that long. Say hi. And yeah, I woke you up. That machine cutting, I probably should have did it at a different time, right? Yeah. But, that's all we've been doing, right? Mommy went back to her internship, externship. She got a couple more weeks of that. And hopefully she'll get hired. And, uh, yeah. That's all we're doing around here. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am attempting to roll my hair. And not really trying to get a style. I'm just trying to see if I can do it. I am not one to do styles on my hair. I've just never been good at doing hair. And I'm still having trouble with these darn rollers because it's a hot mess. And I'm sure I didn't put them in the wrong direction and all that. But I'm just trying to see the process of rolling it up, if I could do it myself. But, I've already been at it like 20 minutes and I got six in my head. <laughs> Something to do while a little mama's sleeping. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say hey, happy Wednesday. Nothing too much going on here today. Dallas has school. Um... That's about it. I did do some DoorDash yesterday. I did one Instacart. I'm still figuring that out. I'm still very slow. I'm not a good shopper. I found this person had like all these different produce orders. And I was like, I don't know which one to get. I don't know how to pick avocados. And, you know, there's 30 different heads of um, cauliflower i'm like well which one am i supposed to take you know i'm trying to look at it and because the app said oh you know pick the freshest stuff and stuff that's supposed to be eaten within one or two days and so i'm like picking out lemons and i'm like is this a good limit i was like, oh this is too much pressure i think i'll just stick with <laughs> picking up your order and dropping it off but and then i had a um a Walgreens order. It was the sweetest thing. It was the order at Walgreens that I had to shop for. And it was for like teethers, baby or gel, and some baby Motrin. And they didn't have the size that the person wanted. So I had to send a message and say, you know, they have the next size up. But it was, you know, maybe a dollar more or something. And she was like, that's fine. And then she texted me. And was like, thank you so much for shopping for me. I have my grandson for a couple of days. And he's been teething really bad. But I'm disabled. So it would be too much for me to try to get in the wheelchair. And get to the store and get back. It was just like such a sweet text message. And I was like, oh. I'm like, no problem at all. I hope he feels better. And she was literally like, you know, the Walgreens is here. I had to go like maybe a block and a half. And around the corner to get to her house so it was very close and um the and then she gave she gave like a ten dollar tip and I was just like oh my gosh she was so sweet and I was like I hope the baby uh takes it easy on <laughs> her but when I got there like on the message it said to leave the order between like the door and the screen door and um there was like an Amazon package already in the door and a big bag from like Boston Market. So 
I guess she ordered some food. Like, and then, like, I literally was wondering, I was like, is she in the house by herself? I wanted to knock on the door and be like, let me bring the stuff in. Because, like, but then I was like, no, that's, that's not, <laughs> that's not my place. But I really wanted to. I wanted to, like, open her door and take the food inside and put it on the table or something. I was like, oh my gosh, poor thing. And I was thinking about her, like, I hope the baby takes it easy on her for next couple of days. But it just proves that that's what, you know, we as grandparents and parents do. No matter what, we're going to make it happen. I just thought that was really nice. And she, and she like, texts that's such a sweet message. She was really grateful because she couldn't get out to get the stuff. So I just thought that was sweet.